Well, hello there, fellow speedsters. Today's topic is a hot one. We are talking about the age-old debate of traditional fuels versus the new age alternative, which is petrol versus CNG cars versus diesel versus EV. It's a no-brainer when we ask which one is cheaper, but which one is more efficient, more sustainable, more fashionable? Let's find out. Petrol cars. The first and foremost choice of an Indian potential buyer is a petrol-powered car. There are many advantages and disadvantages of the car, including skyrocketing fuel prices, maintenance costs, upfront costs, and more. The petrol engine is power-packed and more refined compared to any other vehicle present in the market. While opting for a petrol engine, it could invite a lot of expenditure, along with more running costs compared to any other car. Additionally, a petrol car requires the service more frequently and is subject to fuel impurities as impure fuel can damage the engine. But with the huge availability of spare parts, the after-sales service and other services, petrol cars become more affordable in terms of maintenance, which is definitely something to think about. Diesel cars with diesel-powered cars, the first thing that comes into mind is that it is only limited to 10 years. If you're looking for a power-packed performance yet efficient car, you might be looking for a diesel-powered car. Just like petrol, diesel-powered engines have certain advantages and disadvantages. Diesel engines are comparatively more powerful and efficient than conventional petrol engines. Cars with diesel engines require less maintenance, are better for long routes and even better for towing. On the other hand, these cars are a bit more expensive than petrol cars. Servicing also can be a little more expensive. Talking about insurance, it can cost you around 10 to 15% higher. All in all, if you're looking for a power-packed performance with better fuel economy and a larger range without any budget constraints, you can opt for a diesel-powered engine. CNG cars. Introduced as a cleaner fuel, CNG cars have got tremendous attention from Indian buyers, to which the companies have responded with more variants and models. The CNG cars have witnessed a sharp spike in sales all across the country. The CNG cars have slightly lesser running costs, lower maintenance. CNG cars are much cleaner in comparison to petrol and diesel engines. While opting for a CNG car, it can bring some challenges to you like low performance, less availability of infrastructure, high initial setup cost and some regular problems coming your way. The models like Maruti Suzuki Wagoner, Tata Tiago, Tata Tigor, Hyundai Aura, Hyundai Santro come equipped with factory fitted CNG kits along with a regular petrol engine. These cars petrol engines are capable of running fossil fuel as well as CNG also. And for those who love long drives, CNG might just be for you. Electric cars. The recently introduced concept of electric vehicles has also got a great response to it. All the electric cars are offered with motors paired with a powerful battery, which makes it a good option to opt for. There are advantages and disadvantages to these cars as well. Electric cars are very efficient and cost around 1 or 1.5 rupees on average per kilometer. Additionally, the car consists of very few moving parts, which makes it affordable in terms of after sale service. In terms of disadvantages, the electric car is limited by range and requires frequent charging as compared to fuel. The cars are pretty expensive compared to every other car and lack infrastructure as of now. If you don't have a parking space with a charging socket, you might not opt for it. Then there are obvious benefits like a silent drive and a car garage that would make a statement. Service cost is also likely to be rather inexpensive as there are fewer parts to update or replace. The type of car that you choose should align with your specific needs and priorities. Whether it's fuel efficiency, affordability, safety or environmental impact, there is a car that can meet your requirements. This debate can go on and on and on. And it's the same age-old question, which is better? But the question here should be, which is better for you? I hope this video helped put some things into perspective. 
Do share your thoughts and keep watching this space for more such content. Happy car shopping.